Well, um, tell me your thoughts on, on joining the Braves here and um, kind of how the season was going, what you hope to contribute here now over here. I mean, uh, I know I haven't had the best year so far, but, uh, you know, I feel like I was throwing the ball fairly well, but then got the news yesterday that I was traded here and I'm ecstatic. I mean, this team's unbelievable. I don't have to face these guys again, <laughs> thankfully. This lineup's insane. Um, but honestly, just I've heard so much about the organization. I know a couple people here, uh, but it's just truly honored that they valued me and that I get to be here and to uh, contribute to this team. Who are some of the guys you know over here? I knew Kirby um, coming in, but I knew a couple of people that played in the minor leagues. And uh, uh, Wes McGuire is actually one of the coaches in the minor leagues. He's a good friend of mine. He actually helped me a lot with my mechanics and some weighted ball stuff. So um, him and his brother, Deck, are huge contributors to uh, my success and, and everything. So um, can't thank those guys enough, but I'm really excited to join this team. You mentioned the season, maybe not the numbers, at least not being what you would have wanted to this point. What things have you found that could help that turn the other way? Uh, throw more strikes. I mean, start with start there. Um, I know my stuff's good. It plays. Got a ton of swing and miss this year. I just uh, gotten some bad counts. Um, the guys have done some damage, and that's on me. Um, but honestly, just get back to basics, throw strikes, and uh, let the defense do the work. So we got a really good team here. You've got a power arm, and that curveball obviously has been a very good offering for you. Coors Field tends to not be super friendly to curveballs. Is that what you found? Was there something there that maybe it didn't play the same way? Yeah, you know, it's just a little different pitching there. Um, I was finally making the adjustment a little bit there at the end, but uh, it definitely is an adjustment pitching in the, in the altitude and, and uh, the bigger park where there's more more uh, area for the ball to land. But, uh, you know, just sticking to the basics, throwing strikes. And when I was throwing strikes, I was having a lot of success. But if I hurt myself, you know, that's on me. I don't know how much you read into the splits of cores versus when you're on the road, but does it feel like you maybe now can tap into anything else being away from having to pitch at cores so often? Well, I know that my, my stats were better on the road than at home. Um, I had thrown a lot more at home, which is a little harder to recover there. But honestly, I feel great. Um, just looking forward to uh, pitching in some humidity and, <laughs> and, uh, and just looking forward to playing with this group. So. You're a few years removed from pitching in Japan. What did it feel like yesterday when you knew that a contending team like this one wanted you and valued your stuff enough to trade a couple prospects for you? Uh, I mean, a lot of emotions go through that. You know, I, uh, going over to Japan was the best decision I ever made for my career, for myself, and for my family. And, uh, you know, it got me back ultimately to the States. But um, the fact that a team of this caliber wanted me was, uh, I mean, means a lot. So I can't wait to wear the A and, and go out there and throw some strikes. Were you in the same league as Yoshida over there? Or? I was not. I was not. He was in Osaka, but he was in the other division, so I never faced him. But uh, uh, I know he's an incredible talent, and he's having a heck of a year. But, uh, you know, those Japanese fans, they love those guys, and I know he's got a big following. So happy of his success over here, and uh, hopefully he can keep it up. You saw that series at Truist Park when you guys went there a few weeks ago. Could you take us kind of behind an opponent's look at that? What was what would it was like to play that Braves team when they were on that roll? Uh, we were excited to get out of there, I can tell you that. Um, it was a race to the bat rack. I feel like we just couldn't get it out. I mean, everybody was swinging the bat. I mean, their starters did so well. Um, it's just a good team, man. I mean, one through nine, they can do damage. They're going to hit for power. Guys are going to disrupt the base paths. Uh, and then, you know, they were holding it down in the pin, and obviously the starters were electric. So uh, for us, it was it was nice to get out of there, um, but uh, really excited to be on the other side of that now. I know you've done the city transition before, but what is kind of the first thing you like to do as far as getting to know newer guys or just making yourself feel as comfortable as quickly as you can be? Will there be nerves, for instance, even pitching for a new I mean, a little new bit, new and there's expectations, I, too. Yeah, you know, exactly. and you want to live up to those and, ex and exceed those for sure. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, everybody's been super welcoming already. And, uh, you know, getting the names down is going to be a little <laughs> bit of time, but... Uh, it is, it is, but um, no, it's going to be great. Everybody's been super helpful, super, uh, you know, accommodating. So, um, can't wait to get back to Atlanta and get settled, and uh, really just excited for this opportunity. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So nice. Yeah.